I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender, loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Hey! Not you too! <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically, something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. Really? That would be great! To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it, for their sake! As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again! <sighs> first things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Good plan. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Whew, <laughs> I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. 
had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice. But I can't just go to them and say, hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story that I'm asking for a friend. I see. So you're saying that your... <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality. Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Hmm. Mm. Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. Uh, well, you see, General Goru, I... <laughs> General Goru's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking, and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much. But the other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ah, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice, too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right, let's see what Miwa has to say. Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes them along. So I'm sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with all kinds of people. Hope General Goro, and the Captain of Swordfish too. What are you doing here? We wanted to ask you about something. I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend? and not the other way around. It's because she always has that same smile on her face, so no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. Ah, you make so much sense. So, what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful! You have my gratitude! I'm sure with your approach, that... A friend of mine will be able to overcome his weakness. <clears throat> then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. Well, I'm slowly starting to gain confidence. 
Oh, I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there, too. Let's go take a look. Just to be thorough. Her Excellency handed me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. Let's see... Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants... Aha! I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Well, that's Her Excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Boy, if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. But how do we figure her out? Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. Ah, greetings. <laughs> Here to buy some books? We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I must say that Lady Guji has mm, a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, <laughs> you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Yes. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, <laughs> and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mm hmm. Uh, well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. <laughs> Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. Uh, when we first started running it, sales were very poor. Uh, the return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That's life. Wait, isn't that... Nothing. It just reminded me of something unrelated. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. <sighs> Yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no. That's all. Look. I'm not sure what your plan is here, but I caution you against trying to second-guess Lady Guji. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <sighs> 
The protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies? In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Let's see what we've drawn. I... Oh, it's great misfortune! Hold me. I don't feel so good. A trap? Are you saying that Yaimiko fears us and tried to sabotage our plans by making sure we drew a great misfortune? Urgh. Who knew she'd stoop so low? Well, I will not be intimidated! Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Don't worry, all our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? Mm, but of course. That's why I'm here, waiting for you. <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <clears throat> <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day. And most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate, hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. T together for a lifetime? <sighs> Remember what Shuhei said? We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Uh-oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. I'll have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? 
Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are really just as fascinating. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Just like me, you hug your tail when you go to sleep. And just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. No! Uh, uh. Retreat! Retreat! Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here! When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again! Bye-bye now. Come again soon. <laughs>